had a question this afternoon. Are you happy with the career you have? And if you're not happy, are you willing to make a change? And if you want to make the change, but haven't made the change, what is holding you back? This afternoon by Skype, we have author Douglas Gardham, and he is debuting his first book. And he's gonna tell us about a complete flip of the script in his <laughs> life, and he's happy. How are you this afternoon? I'm doing great, Dee. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> Just a little bit about you. At what point did you know, I, Douglas, want to change my career? Well, it's it's something of a long time in coming. I've uh, my my background is engineering, and that's what I went to school for. But I'd always had a creative spirit, so I had always I always had always written. It was my dream to actually become a published author someday. So they kind of went hand in hand for a long time until I I got to the point where I realized that this double life didn't work anymore. <laughs> okay, so was there a one thing? How did you know, and what can, advice can you give to others when it's okay, I'm going to take the leap? Well, for me, it was, a, I'll say, a series of uh, kind of remarkable events that happened. Uh, I've been working on this book for a very long time, and uh, I was super proud of it. It wasn't the first book, but it was finally getting published. Mm -hmm. And literally, the week that this came out, um, and where I was working didn't know anything about this uh, passion of mine as far as a writer goes. We started talking about um, a new job for me and what I wanted to do within the company. And I just took that as a, a sign that uh, it's time <laughs> to start paying attention. It's time. It's time. Well, what advice would you give to someone who... It's kind of thinking, this is, this is really not my calling. This is not my passion. That is what I want to do, but I don't know how to get from here to there. I, I really think you, you, you got to at least keep, keep doing what you're doing. You're, you have commitments in your life. You have things that you've got to continue to do. Mm -hmm. And start working and up with it, with whatever you, you want, want it to do. And you, you find out, if you, if you love it, if, you, if that's really your passion, you mm -hmm. find out pretty quickly because you're doing it on your vacations and you're doing it on your holidays and you're doing it on any spare time that you've got. I think from there, um, sometimes it, it falls out of your hands. You, uh, you, you go with what you feel and, and, and how, how it feels for you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a big recommendation of jumping off the cliff because okay. I was going to say it's, it's, uh, it's a tough world out there. You know, that's good advice because I think that's the dilemma a lot of us may find ourselves in. It's like, do I turn completely from what I'm doing now? But what you had was good advice. Keep the day job, huh? <laughs> I, I think it's really important that, that, especially if you have commitments and responsibilities in your life, that you, you've got to be understanding that you've got to kind of continue to live up to those. But as I said with my story, it, it's very remarkable in a number of different ways. But for me, my story was coming to the end of where I was working. And it's not that I didn't like engineering and, and that type of world, but the passion I had was for the actor, the, my, my new book, I, and, and what, it, what, it, what it really meant to me. Now, I see that you have been awarded the Editor's Choice Award by your publisher. Does your story have an happy ending? Not the book, the story of Douglas Gardham. <laughs> Are you glad you did what you did? I, I was going to say, I have a little bit of a litmus test when I wake up in the morning. Okay. And I've been there for a long time, and it's that question that I think many have heard, and that is, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? And my answer Ooh. today, I'm, I'm pleased to say, is I'm doing it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I have these things in the back of my mind that almost haunt me, Douglas. They do. It's like, D, if you don't do it now, when are you going to do it? And yep. I just keep hearing from people like you, my pastor, different people. It's like, do it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> wow, so you seem happy. I, I'm, uh, I, I, I feel like it's a gift, Dee, to be honest with you. It's a gift that I've been given, and uh, I, I don't want to waste it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I actually see that there's not a timeline on this. This is what I'm going to do. I've been doing it. I've, I've literally been writing every day for 20 years, so it's that part's not new to me. But getting out, promoting your book, and finding out all the different things that go on, because I'm not from this industry, uh -huh. is, I can't, I can't believe I'll say how exciting it is. <laughs> well, great. Where can they get your book? 
And my book is available worldwide uh, in the U.S. and in Canada and North America. It's on Amazon. Mm -hmm. You can get it in every format. It's on Barnes & Noble. It's pretty much on any of the online retailers today. In Canada, it's available in the Chapters Indigo uh, bookstores and online. It goes right across Canada. Mm -hmm. And right now we're working on trying to get it in the stores in Barnes & no Barnes and Noble. Well, thank you so much for being with us. This is so energizing. I wish you well. I am an avid reader. You're on my list, and I'm going to make sure that I read the actor. And uh, check in next time whenever you, you feel like it. Thanks so much, Dee. Okay, Thanks for thank me you. <laughs> and we'll be right back after this. Don't go away.